How do you use Spray Man spray foam insulation? Today I'm going to be using this spray foam insulation to insulate my shed. Why? Because it's easy to use and it's an affordable kit. And if I run out of spray foam, then I don't have to buy a whole nother kit. Once you've got the kit, you've got the uh, gun applicator, then you can just buy another pack of Spray Man spray foam. If you want to watch another tutorial, click this link right here. It'll take you to a video where it shows you how to use this. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to use it. I did a video insulating my uh, shed behind me, but I did not do the best job showing you how to use this the right way. So today, I'm gonna to show you the right way, and if you use this the right way, it's gonna go a lot further, because if you're using it improperly, then the same can is not gonna cover as much area. So I'm gonna show you what's included in the kit, talk about how much it costs, and then I'm gonna insulate my storage shed. Let's go. Got the spray gun here. This is how we're going to be able to use the spray foam. We're gonna attach it right here. And we've got a regulator so we can adjust the amount of spray foam that we use by taking this and turning it uh, clockwise and counterclockwise. And this right here is what the spray gun came in. Here's the foam cleaner because when we get done using the spray gun, we can take that and clean this gun and we'll be able to use this if we ever have to buy another kit. Now this kit is around 250 bucks. Each can covers about 20 uh, square foot, 20 foot board, and each can has two tips right here that you're gonna use. Depending on your application, whether it's ceiling or vertical, you'll use a different tip. And you can see that the tip actually says B, A and B. B is used for ceiling application, A is used for vertical application. So whenever I insulate the ceiling of the storage shed, I'm gonna use the tip B. Whenever I insulate the wall, I'm gonna use tip A. And the way you take and attach that tip is you just take this right here, and this is tip number A, and then you just rotate it and put it right on there. And there's the tip, it's attached. Before you use one of these spray foam cans, you're gonna shake it up. 20 to 30 seconds. So take your tips off there, shake it up, get it ready, 20 to 30 seconds. You want to use a respirator if you got one, you want to use goggles, and you want to use some type of glove. Now with the kit, they've included some gloves, so that's really nice. So if you don't have gloves, if you order a kit, you'll have gloves with the kit. Now you want to keep in mind that when you're using the spray foam insulation, you read the can because there's some instructions, and on the back it'll tell you that uh, you need to stand about uh, 12 to 16 inches away from the wall when you're applying the spray foam, and you also need to be aware of the temperature, because if it's below a certain temperature outside and it's above a certain temperature, then you're not going to get uh, the best use of that spray foam. You're not going to get uh, the same uh, result. So you want to make sure it's within a certain temperature outside, not too hot, not too cold. We're going to go ahead and get started. So what I'm going to do is I shook up this can. I'm going to shake it up some more. I've already applied my tip and I'm going to take the top and take the cap off. All right. Now the cap's off. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to screw it on. All right. So very easy. All right. And we're going to start by doing the door. All right. Once it's attached, you'll know it. Take this right here. Stand back about 12, 16 inches. All right. That door has been sprayed correctly. Now let's go inside. You want to make sure you can also moisten the wall before you begin. After 30 minutes of applying, you can moisten this and then you can reapply if you want to get a better thickness, you want to get more thickness. And every one inch 
uh, this spray man spray foam insulation is about five uh, on our value so that's pretty good and you can see one can cover quite a bit um, I did not do as good a job on all the rest of this shed compared to what I just did right there because I am using it correctly now. So I understand how to use it. And you, you understanding how to use this is the difference between you getting a really good result and a very poor result. So glad that I understand this. That looks a lot better right there. Look at that door. Just take a, would you just look at it? Would you just look at it? Now we're going to go ahead and use tip B and I'm going to show you how to insulate ceiling applications. So before we take and put this can on, oh, I didn't put my gloves on. Well, I need to put my gloves on, otherwise I'm gonna have stick, sticky fingers. And I don't want sticky fingers. Now, I used to get something called a froth pack, and for about 200 square foot, it was about $400. For this, which is about 200, 250 square foot, about 250 square foot, it's around 250 bucks. So I'm saving about $150 compared to the competition. And if I run out, like I said, I don't have to buy a 12 pack I can, or a kit. I can buy a six pack. I think they also sell two packs. So that's really nice. Now, let's go ahead and put the tip on that we need for sealing applications. That's tip B. Super simple. Super simple. Look at this. Now we're gonna go insulate the ceiling, all right? Here we go. Hopefully you can see, you may wanna turn the light on. All right, now we're gonna insulate the ceiling. See, I missed a couple spots. First time using tip B for sealing application. When you're done using the foam gun right here, you're gonna take and clean it with the foam cleaner. And that's so that you can reuse this. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna attach the can and then you're gonna take and spray it out. I'm gonna clean that up, man. Get all that foam off. I should have took the tip off before I did that. So I got the tip off, clean this out. Now I'll be able to reuse this. And that's what's nice about buying the kit. And then that's what's nice about not having to use the kit. Again, you just buy the packs of spray foam. I'll reuse that. You can see the difference between this right here, which I just finished spraying and this over here. You see how this is much smoother? This is what happens when you use the right tip. This is what happens when you use the wrong tip. And once it hardens up, it's like a closed cell foam. If you know the difference between open cell and closed cell, open cell is kind of squishy and closed cell is much harder, it's much firmer. And that's why the R value per inch is over five. So, but you can tell the difference. Look at that, look how smooth that is. And look how lumpy that is, smooth, lumpy make sure that you watch that video on their website that i've got down the link in the description now that i've got my storage shed my little 
uh, storage building here, insulated with spray man spray foam insulation. I can move my shed down to my homestead area, and now I can install some type of air conditioner inside, and then I can store my battery inside for the solar system that I'll be installing. If you want to see the solar system I'm installing, if you want to see my progress with the battery installation, check out my videos. Stay tuned, hit the like button, subscribe, and smash that bell. Ding! So you know what I'm doing. If you want to learn more about Sprayman Insulation, maybe check out their website. Click the link right here and that'll take you to their website. And I've also got a link in the description where you can go buy Sprayman Insulation and you can also visit their website. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and I hope you learned something. If you did learn something, let me know in the comments what it is. If you don't have a question, that's okay. Let me know who you are and let me know what, where you're from. Also, let me know what advice you may have and let me know what brands of spray foam insulation you're using. If you decide to get spray man insulation, let me know what your experience is. I'd love to know. You've been watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners. I'm Tad and I'll keep you cool if you let me.